Hey, it's Alex here from alexfergus.com and today I'm going to unbox, set up and do a quick review of the new Juve Duo. So uh, these are the second generation Juve panels, Juve uh, red light therapy panels, uh, photo biomodulation panels um, that have been around for a few years now that I personally love and uh, use every day. I have done a bunch of rev reviews on the first gen products so check out my YouTube channel or head over to alexfergus.com for reviews on that. Anyway, this is the new one. Um, they've got a whole new range. Uh, they all click together modular design, uh, which is awesome, I reckon. And uh, I'm yet to open the box and have a look at this. So I figured, you know what, let's share it with you guys. So what I'm gonna do is open it up, have a look at it, um, give my initial thoughts. We're gonna set it up in my uh, on my wall, see how that process goes. Uh, we'll do a quick review. We're going to test the EMF levels with my electrosmog meter um, and compare it to the older Gen 1 devices and then also go through the product range because there is quite a, a vast uh, product range now with their new Generation 2 units including the new uh, handheld Juve Go device which has just been released and announced. Um, so stay tuned, be sure to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel or my email list because I will be reviewing that as soon as I can get one. So uh, anyway, let's have a look what we got. So I got the Juve Duo which is um, $2,200. <coughs> it comes with two panels which we're going to open up now and it also came with this other parcel which, it, which I have opened uh, which is the hanging kit. So let's get opening. Alright, so the Juve Duo comes with two of these units. Uh, if you got the Solo, you'll just get the one panel. Um, so we've got a user manual with all your instructions, which is a big improvement on the first generation uh, manual, which is like one or two pages. Um, and then it's got a lot of questions I saw at the back there, so that's cool. Uh, we have this box, which I'm not too sure. Oh, power cable some wire hanging units it's a long power cable so that's actually pretty good um, and now we have the unit itself so I have got the uh, combo unit which is 660 nanometer and 850 nanometer um, light therapy obviously they <laughs> must have got a lot of complaints or questions saying some of the lights weren't working because now this new one note here it says uh, light from these near infrared LEDs is invisible we can't see that so that's just showing that it is working even though you can't see it so I'm going to take this out of the box and, and have a good look all right so I've got the two units unpacked I'm going to plug them in and uh, we'll see how they go but I should mention I'm sitting on the floor and so are these units uh, so height wise I've got the specs here uh, the Solo is 36 inches high and uh, 8.75 across. Now the Duo is obviously two of these on top of each other, so 8.7 wide by 72 inches tall. Now I've also got various cables. We saw the cable that came with it. Um, hooks that screw into the top so you can hang it. And then it came with a door mounting kit. So this is... Uh, so a pulley system with some carabiners, uh, the hook that actually sits on top of the door. Um, and then because I got the duo, come with this cool little carry bag. Um, because I got the duo, there's, what are these called? Duo patch cord kit. Um, so this is, I'm assuming, so I can transfer, so I only need one plug going into the wall and then this will connect to that one. And then there's this other kit the hardware, sorry, hardware pairing kit. It's a pretty solid unit. Anyone that's used the Juve units will know this. There's fans in the back here, which a lot of the lower powered units don't have. Um, solid design. Uh, you've got some solid rubber feet on there as well. Um, on the back here, I've got this upside down. 
On the back here we've got, you can see the specs here, Juve Solo, um, power switch, and then obviously these are the plugs for patching and, and wiring it all up. And uh, you've got at the top here, you've got the screws for these hanging hooks. Um, oh, and on the side, the, the first generation ones didn't have this. I'll see if I can get it closer. We can see here the um, timer is built in rather than having it separate, which is pretty cool. So you can increase the time, pause, uh, and oh, and, and so this button here, select wavelengths. You can alternate between red, infrared, or both of them, which is which is cool. Um, you know, some people have always asked me like, should I get the 660 or the 850? Um, I've always said just go with the combo because you get the best of both worlds. Here you can alternate between which which ones are working or not. Though in all honesty, I don't see myself only using one or the other. Like I think I'll always just have them both running. But that is a cool feature. Um, all right, let's power it up and see how it goes. I'll see how it looks. All right, so it's all plugged in. I'm gonna switch it on. One downside with these units. Here we go, switch on. One downside with these units is the switches on the back, uh, whereas the first gen models had them on the top or on the bottom, which is a lot easier to get to. I guess, you know, I'm just not used to it. But the switches on the back. Now what happens with the first gen units, the lights would come on straight away, and so with the fans. This one here, um, all that's happened is this timer panel has switched on. So it's got five minutes, and it's got the red and the infrared, near infrared lights are both on. So the lights themselves don't work until I hit play or start on the timer. So it's set to five minutes. I can press the time button uh, to increase the time, so it's up to eight minutes now. Um, and I'm just going to press play. And there we go. I don't even know if you can see me anymore. But if you're wondering why they're not all showing, it's because I have the infrared and the red on. So if I hit mode here, I have to pause it. But if I hit mode, I can disable the infrared and I can start it again. So now only the infrared's going, but you can't tell. Or you can kind of see a little bit of the infrared light coming through there. Um, if I pause it and just hit red, now only the red lights work. And then if I pause it and hit mode again, both are going. So now all of them going. And then that timer will run in the background, which is pretty cool. So that's the device. Well, Alright, so those of you that were looking at the old Gen 1 devices, or who have a Gen 1 device, um, here I've got my Generation 1 standard Juve unit panel, alright? Uh, and here, next to it, we have the new Generation 2. The difference is, obviously, um, the Gen 1 had the handheld timer, the Gen 2 has the timer built in. Um, Gen 1, it is just a standalone unit, there is no way to connect other units in. Uh, the Gen 2 unit has the modular design, so we can stack them on top, side by side, um, and using the connection at the back, piggyback the power cords and everything like that. So it is a lot easier to expand with these units. You can you know, start with one and, and add more and effectively do the whole, whole wall or your whole body, which is the end goal that I have here as well. Um, this was a combo, this was also a combo, so 60, 60, 60 and 850. Height wise though, size wise, they're pretty similar. This this has uh, more spacing with the LEDs, um, so you get a little bit more body coverage, which is a good thing. Uh, and this also does have Bluetooth built in, which I need to play around with and um, see how that goes. This obviously does it. Alright, so I've just brought it into my office where I had my previous red light set up. So over here you can see my uh, Juve Max, the uh, old legacy device. And now I've got the Juve Duo. Uh, you can only see one in shot here, but uh, there, there's two units stacked on top of each other. Now um, I'm 5'10", and uh, this is slightly over my head. Alright, so it is a big unit. Um, yeah. And that was the problem with the Juve Max here. As you can see, this is sitting on the floor. It's only coming up to my shoulder, even less than shoulder. Um, so the problem was you either, either missed out on your ankles and feet or your face, like you had to choose one or the other. Here, we're gonna get full body coverage, all right, which is awesome. Very, very cool. Um, and the idea is I want 
panels in front and on the side and I turn around and I can do the whole body in a few minutes. So um, I piggybacked them, I followed the instructions and had the cables and all that sorted. Now when I turn it on, I can use one device to control both. So if I set it for 10 minutes, they'll both run for 10 minutes. If I turn one off, the other one will turn off, which is really cool. So let's, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll take a step back so you can see the whole unit and then I'll fire it up. So I can't even get the whole unit in shot here because I'm up against my back wall. But you can see how much taller it is than the Max. Um, so let's go turn this thing on. Just like that. Alright, so now I'm going to use my Cornet Electrosmog meter, EMF meter, uh, model ED88T. Um, and I'm going to test the electromagnetic field that this unit is emitting. I've done this with all the Juve units. Uh, again, you can see them on YouTube, check them out, and um, they're all been in the good range. Uh, obviously, if you go right up to the unit, it's a lot higher than if you come out the 6 inches, which is where you should be anyway. And because the Juve units are so powerful, you're still getting massive dosage, like good irradiance from the, the LEDs in these units. Unlike some um, underpowered red light devices we're seeing on the market today, that have such little power that you have to go right up to them to get any benefit unless you're going to stand there for hours on end um, and the downside of that is some of these units are putting out huge amounts of electric ma electromagnetic fields um, and they've been tested to show like you know dangerous levels so obviously that's not ideal so it'll be interesting to see how this unit is obviously the previous units are really good so I'm hoping this one is good as well I'm sure it will be Alright, so I'm going to test this now. I got my 15 centimeter ruler, 6 inch ruler. Measure this reading with the unit off, and it is 0.03 UT, which I think is micro Tesla, which is 0.3 milligauss, which is fine. So I froze the reading, and this is what I saw. And it was in the green zone. Alright, so I'm going to turn it on and test the reading now. So we have 0 0.07 slash 08, which is 0.8 milligauss. It's dropping between 7 and 8. 0 0.7 is still in the green zone, which is safe zone. 0 uh, 0.8 is just flicking up into the yellow, but it's the, the bottom of three yellows. And that's at six, 6 inches out. So here's the reading. That's what I'm getting, and that's in the green zone. So that's perfectly fine level. I'm completely happy standing there at that distance. Now obviously, as I get closer to it, and now, now as I go about three inches out, two inches out, we're at point 0.14, which is still in the green yellow zone anyway, so it's still, it's still fine. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's still pretty safe. Um, when I go right up, we're at, 0.4 which is 4 milligauss so I mean that's a lot higher there but it's still in the yellow zone so again I don't recommend going right up stand the six inches out and you're in the perfectly safe zone fine so I'd be happy standing there and I'd be happy to recommend my my wife my clients and my friends to do the same um, do recommend that you never do more than 20 minute sessions um, typically I do about five ten minutes one side five ten on the other side and I'm done so that's the Juve Duo. Uh, now for those of you who have been looking at the shop and thinking, well, wow, there's so many options. I know, I actually printed out this little uh, chart that they have on their site. So they now have the Juve Go, which is a small, I'll just turn the fans off. The fans stay on for a few minutes after you turn the lights off. It just helps cool it, cool it down. Um, the Juve Go, which is just a little unit I haven't seen yet. I have done a preview video of that though, so you can check that out. Um, that's $300. The Mini, which is yay big, I think, um, three, uh, $700. Solo, which is one of these devices, $1,200. The Duo, which I have here, $2,200. Now, you can go bigger than that. You can go the Max, which is two two Solos and two Minis. So you get a, something similar to what I had over here. Um, it's $3,000. The Quad, which is four of these, side by side. So that would do full coverage, no matter where you're standing. Um, $4,000 and then the Elite is three wide by two high, which is huge. I mean, that might be 
used in a clinic or whatnot. That's six thousand dollars. Now this this particular device, if you work out, it has three hundred uh, LEDs. So each panel has one hundred fifty. So there's three hundred LEDs in here. If you do the maths, that works out to be seven dollars thirty in LED. Um, if you drop down to the solar, you just get one of these. You're paying eight dollars per LED. If you go down to the mini, you're paying twelve dollars per. LED. So it makes sense to get the bigger unit, all right? For instance, the quad, you're only paying, you're paying less than seven dollars, paying six dollars seventy per LED. So you might as well stretch the budget if you can and get a big one. You're, you know, you're getting uh, cost saving there. But the best thing is you're getting more surface area, more treatment area. That was the problem with the Generation One devices, like I've got here. <clears throat> as I was saying before, it wasn't quite tall enough to do full body. Um, if you just got the single panel, it was quite narrow, it was narrower than this, so you had to do like half of your body and then the other half, um, you know, and even if you were doing five minutes in each treatment area, if you want to do the whole body, you could totally be there for like an hour, you know, five minutes, five minutes, another five, another five, then you do the sides, and then you do the back. It, it was quite time consuming. So, if you're looking at starting out, I mean, in all honesty, if you can afford the $2,000 or thereabouts, go with the Duo, because you're getting top to bottom coverage, you can do front and back and know that a good chunk of the body is covered. You're not getting full exposure, um, but if you go in the middle, you, you're getting pretty good treatment zones. Um, that's what I'd recommend starting with. And then later on, you can get another one and do what I've done where you put it in a corner and you have front and side, uh, and then flip around and go back on the other side. And, and you can add to them. Otherwise, if you're really tight on a budget, um, start with the Solo, $1,200 and then you can get another solo later on and clip it together like I've done and well, like I've got here and you've got a full unit and you can just keep adding, adding away. The Mini, um, just given the price point, $700 for 60 LEDs, I wouldn't really worry about that. Uh, you know, if you're looking at the Mini for 700, try spending 1200, just get 500 bucks extra and get the solo. You, you'll, trust me, you'll, you'll regret it otherwise you'll just be like oh, I wish I had a bigger unit unless you get in the mini just for like your face or a particular area you know there's a uh, desk stand I think with the mini so you can have it when you're brushing your teeth or doing your makeup and know that you're getting all that red light no doing your makeup with uh, red light on your face is probably makes things a bit difficult not that I do makeup but you know what I mean um, so what I, I'd suggest is yeah the Duo, if you can afford it, otherwise start with the Solo. And then if you do want a small device, check out the new Juve Go. Because uh, that could be awesome. And again, I haven't tested it yet, but I can't wait to. Obviously, if budget's not an issue, then maybe straight for the Quad. Because uh, then you're getting 2x2, two two, and you can do full full body, front and back. Um, or go Quad and a Duo and do the setup that I've pretty much got here. That's my end goal. To have four here and four there. Anyway, I've talked, to, talked too much. Uh, that's my initial thoughts. Obviously, I've only opened up about an hour ago. Um, solid unit, very solid unit. Great technology. Uh, the new Juve units are now FDA, FDA approved as well, which is like, I think it's a first for the red light therapy industry, which is great. Maybe not. Don't quote me on that. Um, the fact that you can add them together and control through the one unit is good. Oh, it's huge. I mean, it's huge. Uh, it's awesome. The built-in, um, Timer is a neat feature. No, I never minded the other t uh, unit. Uh, solid build. They look good. They got the fans, so they're not going to overheat. And you know they're putting out a lot of power, uh, a lot of beautiful therapeutic red light in there for red light. Um, so yeah, head over to juve.com to check them out. Um, I do have a disc. Well, it's not a discount so code. Sorry, it's a gift code. Uh, just enter my name, A L E X, and you'll get a free gift on your order. Um, also check out my website alexfergus.com I've reviewed the red light therapy the benefits of them and my thoughts on you know a year or six months worth of regular use so uh, I don't want this, this video to go into that because I've done that before but I've reviewed all the other units uh, and I've got a couple articles on red light therapy and why it is so beneficial to our health so check them out be sure to subscribe leave a question comment sign up to my newsletter if you do want to buy one Use code Alex, you get a free gift, I get a commission. I uh, thought it'd be straight up there. I mean, I do get a cutback uh, if people buy these units. If you don't want to, uh, if you don't want me getting that commission, then just, you know, don't use my code and um, 
you want to get the gift as well, but that's all good. So, uh, anyway, this is the device I use. Sorry, the Juve unit over here is the device I've been using for over a year now, maybe two years. Uh, now I've got this one, I'm going to replace my old original Juve and use this instead um, because I'm happy with them and I feel the benefits. And I've looked into the, the technical details and the EMF readings, everything's legit. So that's why I continue to use it. Talk too much. I'm leaving now to go have lunch. Bye.